Hi, I'm here today with Julie Bowditch, the new executive director of the CASA project. Thank you for joining us. Did I pronounce that correctly? I always, I don't know how to, to uh, pronounce the A's. You did, yes. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for joining me. I, I know very little about your organization, uh, especially now. I, I was a little more uh, acquainted with the CASA project years ago. So tell me and tell us, our viewers, what the CASA project does, for starters. Yeah, absolutely. So CASA, um, uh, contrary to some misconception, does, is not uh, an acronym for housing. Um, we It stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates, the so CASA. And, um, and so what we do is we provide advocacy for children who are in the foster care system through the judicial court system. Our CASAs are appointed by, directly by the judges to help be an extension of the, them and the court and um, to help provide some relevant information in terms of uh, a recommendation for an outcome for the children's permanency. Okay, so your CASAs, which are volunteers for the most part, if I they understand are. Their, the volunteer role is to work with the courts and the family, sort of be the, an intermediary or represent an advocate for the child to the courts. Yes, so they they build a trusting relationship with the child or children if it's a sibling set on the case. Okay. And um, their job is really just to do a very thorough investigation uh, through conversations, you know, both with the children, you know, if they're old enough, if they're, you know, school age or, sure. or adolescents, um, have conversations with them, but also biological parents, um, any relatives that might be involved, foster parents, certainly DCF, uh, attorneys, perhaps teachers or other educators, clinicians, and so forth, to really just get a, a big picture of what is going on and what might be best for the child in the long term, right? So then we re provide a report back to the courts to, uh, you know, to recommend where what we believe is best for the child for their, their safety and their well-being. So this is really uh, an important role. I, I, would, I would guess that you provide training to people who are interested in volunteering as a, as a CASA. We do. We do some background screening, of course, and lots of training is involved in becoming a CASA. We have hundreds of volunteer advocates here in Worcester County. We serve the whole county, so it's over 70 towns and cities, uh -huh. which um, I think is another misconception, right? Because even though the Worcester Juvenile Court is a busy area, um, we're all the way stretching all the way up to the New Hampshire border, all the way down to Rhode Island. And so, you know, we're, we're serving hundreds of kids every year um, throughout the county. So, um, so it, it is a, it's volunteer driven. We have staff who support those volunteers uh, and, and really um, sort of just help them with, with their very important task of really fact finding and reporting back information. And um, you may know, but the system is, is terribly backed up right now. You may have seen in the news recently, um, we are down a judge currently. And so that really impacts the backlog. And so that means that kids are staying in the system for, you know, for quite some time in many cases. So, um, so sort of a secondary opportunity and, uh, and responsibility that we have is to support them during that time. So separate from the fact finding and the reporting, we are also helping to support them, you know, in their transitions, uh, maybe their educational journey or other sort of extracurricular things, maybe therapy and other things. We don't provide those services, but we can help with uh, making connections, referrals, and working with many partners throughout the county who we are wouldn't be able to do our job without um, to just make sure that somebody, you know, always has an eye out for these kiddos while they're in the system. Okay. And so if somebody was interested in volunteering, they should know that the, you, you do have staff people to support them because I, if I was interested in doing that, that would be one of my concerns. All right. How do I, yes. how do I do this? Cause it sounds like it, it, it's very important and can be kind of involved, but you do support, your volunteers with a lot of staff support. We do, and that's absolutely accurate. It can sound maybe like an intimidating 
thing to take on and a big responsibility, which it is. You're you're impacting the outcome, you know, for the child for the rest of their life, really. Um, but yes, we do have staff that support the whole process, not just with the initial training, but then um, ongoing training, but also just supporting them, you know, when they have a, a question or something were to arise, there's always a, a staff member who's assigned to every case along with the volunteer, um, you know, to make sure that they have, they have all the support that they need to be successful. Okay. So if somebody's interested, how do they find you? Yes, I would recommend they go to the casaproject.org and that is our website for Worcester County, um, the casaproject.org and they can find my contact information there, all of our other staff and also lots of information about how to apply to become a volunteer and you know a little bit more context maybe if they're looking to to find out um, how to how to help out um, and and we also have we're very excited to have our signature event back this year in oh, person great. after, of course, a, a wild um, couple of years for all of us. Yes. So that will be on September 8th here in Worcester. And there's more to come on that. But um, it's called our Champions for Children event. And it's a very significant event um, for for us, for the organization, and um, gives us a chance to celebrate our partners and the community that supports us so, so well. Oh, that's great. So the the casa project.org for more information whether you want to volunteer or you want to support or both absolutely thank you matt oh thank you for joining i i, I enjoyed learning about uh, what you do and good luck you're relatively new although you've been on the board be, uh, for a couple of years prior to becoming the exec i believe so uh, appreciate uh, getting a chance to meet you like this and talk about a very important program uh, in worcester county so you have a great day. You too. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. And we'll be back.